This chapter demonstrates how to connect the power wiring to the Altivar 212. The Altivar 212 installation manual is available online at www.schneider-electric.com. Read and understand the Altivar 212 installation manual before installing or operating the drive. Danger. Hazard of electric shock, explosion, or arc flash. Read and understand this manual before installing or operating the drive. Installation, adjustment, repair, and maintenance must be performed by qualified personnel. The user is responsible for compliance with all international and national electrical code requirements with respect to grounding of all equipment. Many parts of this drive, including the printed circuit boards, operate at the line voltage. Do not touch. Use only electrically insulated tools. Do not touch unshielded components or terminal strip screw connections with voltage present. Do not short across terminals PA plus and PC minus or across the DC bus capacitors. Before servicing the drive, disconnect all power, including external control power that may be present. Place a do not turn on label on all power disconnects. Lock all power disconnects in the open position. Wait 15 minutes to allow the DC bus capacitors to discharge. Measure the voltage of the DC bus between the PA plus and PC minus terminals to ensure that the voltage is less than 42 volts DC. If the DC bus capacitors do not discharge completely, contact your local Schneider Electric representative. Do not repair or operate the drive. Install and close all covers before applying power or starting and stopping the drive. Failure to follow these instructions will result in death or serious injury. Follow the lifting, handling, and mounting recommendations described in the ATV212 installation manual. Open the door and remove any protective plastic to allow access to the power terminals. On the smallest frame size of the Altivar 212, remove the control terminal board to gain access to the power terminals. Before connecting your device to a power source, first make sure the line voltage is the same as the voltage rating on the drive. Next, check the circuit breaker rating or fuse rating as recommended in the documents that ship with the drive. Verify that the motor voltage is compatible with the drive voltage. Now, connect the ground wire from the motor to the ground terminal. Then, wire the drive to the motor. Finally, wire the drive to the line supply. Connect ground and line power to RL1, SL2, and TL3. Reinstall any protective plastic you removed. On the smallest frame size of the Altivar 212, replace the control terminal board and secure with the supplied screw. Once these steps have been completed, you can connect your control wiring for the device.